Hey guys, come and take a viewing with me. So this is the property here. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, so it's a three bed in probably not the best area in the world. It's next to a park. Parking's not great. So when the when there's a property to buy as an investment that's not in a great area, you're looking at price. Essentially, is it once you've recycled all your cash, is it going to be a free property? In that situation, it might be worth it. But let's walk in. It's on the market. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, no worries at all. Yes, yes, I'll take you off. What was your? So it's on the market for 150. It's a three bed mid terrace property. Yeah. Right. It's got a cellar. Let's have a look. So some issues there. It's lighting. Good. Okay. So it's dry. Very low. I'm a bit shaky. Have you? It was previously tenanted. Uh, back to reception room. Gas meters at the front. Galley kitchen. These aren't very popular. The boiler looks like it's in good condition. Some potential damp issue here. Okay. I think downstairs bathroom. So this can all be gutted, I think. This, well, yeah, I think this all needs to be replaced. Issues there. Let's go outside. That's nice. So windows are new, so it's got new double glazing, which can be expensive. That looks like owner occupier, which is always good. Small, easy to maintain garden. And then we're overlooking a nice park over there. That's actually really nice. So we've got some HMOs along there that we manage. So in potential security issues, I'm guessing that's why those um, trailer things are up there when you're opposite a park, but otherwise, Easy to maintain. Okay, let's go upstairs. So as I said, it's previously tenanted. Uh, I'm guessing the landlords, the tenants have just left. And I think the landlords had enough. Uh, because it's tenanted, it should have a gas cert, it should have an electric insulation report as well. Um, but they might be out of date. It's fire alarms and fire doors. Uh, so I suspect this was probably supported accommodation. There's a leak up there. Wood wiring. Wood chip wallpaper. So that's going to be a pain to take off. Um, okay, so the second bedroom. Please go forward. That's the back of this actually got quite a nice view. So it would actually make quite a nice residential property. Uh, some some shoe there. Spade mattress in each bedroom. Again, fine. Also, probably supported accommodation of some sort. Third bedroom. Okay, window restrictor. Um, yeah, I mean, decent size bedroom. Two radiators. Feels a bit excessive. I'm guessing one doesn't work. Um, some paint up there, peeling again. That's nice. That's a nice view. So, what is that? Hmm. Yeah, quite an interesting one. At 150, um, yeah, you're not going to get a three bed in Birmingham for cheaper than 150. The location to be fair isn't actually that bad, parking's okay. So 25, actually I think maybe 15, 20k worth of works. We valued at 180, 190, yep. Anyway, so that's interesting. 
Anyway, so my name is, if you don't know me already, my name is Tu Nguyen. We let manage high quality HMOs and single lets in and around Birmingham. We also buy a lot of properties for ourselves and our clients. Uh, this could, no, this couldn't be our HMO. It's, uh, it's too small for that. So this will be, this will serve well as a, a single let and mortgageable. So that's a plus. Um, normally for this sort of price, you would expect it to be cash purchase only, but I think this is actually, uh, you can purchase this off a mortgage, assuming there's no structural issues. And uh, it didn't work because uh, we finance in a few years time. Let's go back to the front reception. Yeah, so a lot of chimney breasts, which takes up a lot of space. Pressing these ceilings of uh, sort of marks all around. So I wonder what's happened. I wonder if something's happened to the roof and they've put a new ceiling in. Um, it's a lot of trunking, so some wiring has been done. Um, there are heaters, but so this might have been a, a HMO, and sometimes tenants will bring their own heaters in in addition to the radiators. But yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, so, what do you guys think? of this property, what would you do with it? And uh, do you think this is a deal? All right, see you.